there is something that um, all skaters have this bond, this crazy love for this wooden toy that we all get that other people don't understand. So the minute you have that love, you're in our club. As a young boy, Justin Bishop didn't know how hard it would be to leave that club when a degenerative eye disease would eventually claim his sight as an adult. And it wasn't until I was 25 where like I had this pretty bad progression where a lot of my central vision left, um, things just became blurbs and shadows um, like almost within a week period. And how did that affect you mentally and emotionally? That time was a bad time. Uh, you know, I spent a lot of time in my room drinking, um, just trying to, you know, ignore it or just deal with it. I think a lot of it was grieving. Yeah, it wasn't until like about like a month and a half later where my dad was just like, you know, we gotta get, we gotta get up and go. You gotta figure out life again. And that meant getting back to the basics. What did you have to relearn? Had to learn um, mobility and orientation training with my cane. The confidence was one of the hardest things. Leaving your house when you're blind is just, it's frightening. Gaining that independence again yeah. was hard enough. Skateboarding took even more time and patience. I define myself as a blind individual and my own definition of what blind people could do was limiting. And so I loved skateboarding with all my heart and I just didn't want it to hurt my feelings again. So um, I actually avoided skateboarding uh, for a while. What did it look like the first first go around when you decided to, to get back on it again? Yeah, there's a lot of falls, but I mean, I even missed falling. I missed all of that. Justin says he spent hours upon hours falling ah. and failing. There's just a lot in here that my brain and body wanted to do that I just physically couldn't do on my skateboard at the time. Instead of giving up, he became an adaptive skater, leaning on his senses. So this is an audible marker. It gives me like a good two foot radius of what to aim for, what not to aim for. Tools to feel out the ramp and muscle memory. That's my walking one, it's a marshmallow tip. This is a larger marshmallow tip with a roller on it. And then that's my normal one that I skate with with a larger ball tip. Justin returned to competing, joining an elite group of roughly 40 adaptive skaters in the U.S. He even placed first last year at a national skateboarding event. Did you even realize that that could be an option for you to do this professionally? No, not at all, it would, which is one of the uh, mind-blowing surprises. You show the world what you can do. His grit got noticed. His story featured in a Ruffles commercial narrated by LeBron James. Today's world is looking past like my cane. They're looking past the sunglasses and they're just seeing another athlete. Equipped with a growing platform and an extended support system, including his wife, Carol, Justin skates to encourage others like him to drop in at a skate park. And then a kick and push. Whoa. Being visually impaired, we have to work harder than the average human. Just to get on a bus correctly, just to, you know, get to your house, get to your mailbox. And if we could work harder for those things, we can work harder in the sports or the passions we love. Justin says skating put his life into focus on his journey back into a unique club. And so it made me Justin again. I'm not blind anymore. I'm, I'm Justin. I'm a skater. Just an incredible story. As you know, the Paralympics are happening right now in Beijing. And Justin's goal is to have adaptive skating at the Games in 2028. And he also tells me there are roughly 10 adaptive skaters like him who are visually impaired. And just like any other elite athlete, there's a whole lot of training involved. He says he trains roughly four to six hours each and every day at skate parks like this. Guys, wow. back to you. Wow. Be good brothers to see. Thanks, Kathy. The power of grit. That was good. Thank you, Kathy. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.